What up, good people? Got another message for you? Like the head? Here it come. So, like I said, I've been processing. I've been taking some time to myself to get back right in mind, body, and spirit. So the Holy Spirit came to me as I was excavating some memories and trying to discern what is true. So, this message is timeless. All my messages are timeless. And you may be experiencing this or soon, sometime soon, we'll be experiencing this. But I started seeing a lot of you have been called to be elders before you even turned 21, before you even became a full adult. A lot of you have been called to be elders. Now, when you were younger, you didn't have a name for it. You didn't quite understand it. But you notice some things in your family, some root issues, clicks, um, petty grievances, things that were not in, in alignment with God, ancestral patterns. The same old, same old, just a different day. And you have a pure and unconditional heart. So, so the vision that you had to bring the family together, because you see all this stuff that's going on around you. The pure and unconditional love that you want to share and give out. Gave you that vision. It was bigger than you. You didn't understand it. Before if you. Before the age 18. If this was happening to you. Then you stepped out into the real world. And then you started noticing. Some, some real world issues. Then the world started whooping your butt. And then you started noticing your family becoming even more divided. Then you started noticing nobody ain't talking about nothing. They ain't talking about the issues at hand. You started noticing that too many things are being swept underneath the rug and not being addressed. So your thoughts started shifting. And that's when the divine steps in. And gives you the bigger picture of it all. You were chosen. To see this. Now what I have learned. That before. We come here. We choose the family. You choose your parents. You choose the life we want to live. Because we, we're here to learn the lessons. To get the lessons. To evolve. As a human being. To evolve as, as a soul. Like I said, this world is a school. It's teaching you. Are you getting the lesson? Are you getting the lesson? Are you getting the lesson? That's what really matters. Okay? With anything and everyone. Watch and observe and learn. So... As you're growing up, you're seeing the bigger picture, like, okay, I'm being excluded. Okay, I feel like an interloper, like I don't belong. But what you don't remember is you chose this family to get the lesson. But just because they blood don't mean you have to do what they do. 
take on the illnesses that they have. Okay? And what God wants me to share with you, the Lord laid this on my heart. And I want to, this is a divine message. The shake-up will wake you up or make you want to cut up. What you gonna do? Be true and do you. That's all you can do. Don't bow down to the mess. Instead, choose to bless. Bless hearts. Bless minds. Free your soul. Go to source for the master plan to elevate and evolve to this into this new chapter in your life. God is always the higher power that you can tap into for divinity, strength, and grace to keep pressing on through it all. You can't change what has happened. But what you can do is change what is going on within you. And the only way you can make that change is with God. So you stay grounded in the fact, okay, I, okay, I got the bigger picture now. You, you starting to get the bigger picture. You have already got the bigger picture. Okay, I came here to break this generational curse. I came here to break these toxic ancestral patterns. I'm not going to sit here and watch it. I'm just going to choose to figure out how I can overcome it. How I can heal from it. And I, how I can help others to heal from it. Because most chosen ones are healers. Okay. It's just what it is. You're a light worker. Use your light and ignite into that full power that is destined to be. You are the star, shining bright. Like I said, everyone on this planet was born to shine, was meant to shine. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be a superstar. <laughs> superstar. <laughs> I forgot what movie that's from. <laughs> but <sighs> embrace who you are, okay? You were chosen to break the chains and not ignore them. Because what it does is if you keep ignoring and all of you all you're doing is carrying on the pain, the hurt, the trauma, and grief, and then you get sick, and then you ill in the mind, ill in the body, because you took on all that stuff. Now I'm I'm here to tell you what I have learned is release all that that you have seen, that you have learned with love and light. And I heard something which is so true. There are no mistakes. I can't remove it. Oh, that was from the movie Greed. And the minister said, there are no mistakes, just lessons. So when you release it, with love and light, judge less, love more. Judge less, love more. And walk away with a clear and pure heart. I wanted to send that message your way today. Create your own tribe. Your own soul family. Open up more so you can connect and attract to more like-minded. You deserve that. You do. If you can't find it in your uh, family or in your friendships, you know what you do. You walk away. You release. You get it, get it, get it, get what no longer serves you. Okay? You have to do that to elevate. And I want to share that message with you. 
And I hope it touched your heart in some way, somehow. I know most of y'all are already doing it, already living your best life as a chosen one, as an elder, as a wise one. Elder has nothing to do with age anymore. <laughs> it doesn't. So, be well. Take care of your mind, body, and soul. Restore your soul to who you truly are. And what you came on this earth to do was to serve your purpose. Don't allow anyone to make you into something that you are not. You're bigger. You're greater than all that stuff that's going on around you and within you. So dedicate the time to heal dedicate and devote the time to commune with God on a daily so you'll know how to keep walking on this path with no interruptions, no distractions. Stay focused, stay up, stay prayed up. I'm wishing you all well. Ancient soul tribe, keep your head up. You got this. It is already all right. Take care. Be blessed. Love ya. Peace.